Hello guys, this is me Dr. Kashan Kasit today here and today we will discuss that how can you measure the blood glucose level at home and in the clinic. So um, most widely used device here in Pakistan is AccuCheck. Today we are here with the AccuCheck. Uh, other devices are used, Butterfly and other devices named differently accordingly and different companies are using different devices under the different brand name. So today we are going to use this AccuCheck. This is the AccuCheck glucometer. This device is called glucometer and it has a display screen uh, over here. This is the switch button and here is the portable uh, system. This port is usually used uh, by the clinician. Is, uh, this port is usually used for transferring the data inside it into the computer or a PC so that uh, data can be analyzed. So this is not of your use. So coming to this one, this is the uh, battery or a cell area. You can see here that this is the inside it. It is the cell and you will always put the cell the straight. Uh, this is the curved area. You will place the cell flat surface on the top and you will place it like this and will put back this cover and tick button will show that it is fixed now. So this is a glucometer. This is the Lancet device. This Lancet device is uh, used to place a Lancet that is a Lancet. And this is the uh, strip bottle, test strip bottle. And it is tightly closed. Uh, so here we are with the test strip and the Lancet. This is the alcohol swab in order to clean the uh, finger which we will use for the picking. So this uh, Lancet device coming to this one, this has a rotating cap. This rotating cap you will see here that it has some digits on it and you can fix it accordingly. This is the 3.4 I usually use for picking. It has here the button which will turn into yellow when you will press this priming button. This is the priming button and you will see here that this, it is it has turned into the yellow one. So this is a picking button, you will pick like this. So let us measure the blood glucose level. This is the Lancet device and this Lancet device is first prepared. So in order to open this cap, uh, you will apply a little force like this and this will open. You will see here the Lancet place. This is the Lancet place you will put like this inside this and click, bit, uh, click button will show that it is fixed now. You will turn it clockwise or anti-clockwise and this will be removed off. Now you can place this back, uh, this opener back onto the Lancet. You can place it like this and click will show that it is fixed. This is a priming button. You will press it and this uh, white light will turn into yellow. This shows that the Lancet device is ready. Let us see that what happens. Uh, pressing this priming button will turn this white into the yellow one. This is, show, uh, this is showing that the device is ready to prep. So now we will ready this glucometer. Uh, this is the glucometer and you will see the screen. Uh, there is no digits over here in the screen. When you will turn it on by this button M, you will see the screen. Uh, these are the previous values. I have measured the uh, values of the uh, people over here. Uh, this one, the patient 302. This one is 174. These were the measured values. You can press it again and again when we'll, this will give the results. These are all the results which I have, I have measured. So uh, coming to the first one. You have seen that uh, this uh, screen is showing the previous uh, blood glucose level. So we will insert here the test strip inside this glucometer like this. The arrowhead is showing the direction of the insertion. So you will insert this test strip inside it like this. And the triple eight will show that now you can put a blood drop on the test strip. So the lancet is ready and you can pick your finger. I usually select the middle finger that finger and the side of the finger. Side of the finger is usually used because there is a less chances of the pain because there are the less uh, nerve endings over there on the side or the lateral side of the finger. And you will see here the prick. Once you prick the finger, you will see the blood coming out of it. So you will put the edge of the finger on the test strip like this. And after a while, you will put it away. 
so the screen will display the result that is 91 milligram per deciliter this is my blood sugar random level this is how you will measure the blood glucose level after that you will draw this strip back and will throw it off into the bin so this is how you will measure the blood glucose level of the patient or a random people the fasting blood glucose level should be less than the 126 milligram per deciliter and the random blood glucose level should uh, should not be more than the 200 milligram per deciliter so this is uh, all about the device which is used to measure the blood glucose level next i will show you that how will you measure the blood pressure of the patient so thank you very much for listening this is all about today